So today I'm going to talk about lists. And so a list is a collection of um, different, uh, a collection of data. Um, and the way we denote a list is we put it within um, two square brackets and we can put our items in here. Now think about list, it, these, uh, the data can be of um, any types. So we could have um, a string, we could have an integer, we could have a float, we could have booleans, um, we could do actually another list even within a list if we wanted to. Okay, and so all of this is a list. Um, <clears throat> the cool thing is, if I were to like print the type of, the, of it, that way you can see, it'll actually tell you that, hey, this is a list. This is the type it is, it's a list. Uh, so, but it's, as you can see, it's a collection of all kinds of things. Um, now, if you have a list of just one type, sometimes people think of that as just being an array, because um, an array would have to be of one specific type, but a list allows us to have multiple things within it. Uh, lists are very powerful and used a lot in programming because you can uh, hold things in a specific order it's very easy for you to iterate with, uh, through the sequence as well. So some other things is uh, because it is an iterative sequence, it has a specific, specific order to the items in it. We can actually make calls to those if we would like to as well. So for instance, if I wanted to, let's say, print uh, the first thing in it, we denote that by the zeroth index. Okay. So in other words, that means that um, things in a list um, you'll see this with every iterative list as well, or sorry, every iterative sequence as well. Uh, things with a list start at zero, and then we have one, two, three, and then four. Okay, uh, so it starts at zero, um, and then go um, and continues upwards. The length of a list though will be um, how many elements you have within it. Okay, so so here we go. So I print this out. It says, oh, that was S, which is that string that we saw earlier, right? If I were to go to the fourth index, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it should print this whole other list. Because it's a list that's inside of a list, I could also even say, you know what, I'm going to get um, the first element of it. And what would that be? Well, let's see what that would be. Based off what we've um, seen so far, what should this be? Well, this should be going to the fourth element, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's this list, and then going to the first thing in that, so or the first element. So we have zero and then we have one. So it should give us a two. Lo and behold, that's what we see here. Okay. Now <clears throat> we can use this list in many ways. Like for instance, if I want to say for uh, I using a for loop, so for I'm just calling I just because I can. Um, any dummy variable is will do for I and X. So it's an area of sequence like we saw with range, that means you can uh, it'll start at the first thing and continue to go through the list and I or the dummy variable will be saved as each item that's in here. So the first time this goes through, I would be um, S, the string S. The next time it goes through, it'll be one, then 2.3, then true, and then the list. Now, what I can do here is then do whatever the calculations I want. So for instance, I'm just going to print each element in it. So I'm going to print I. So and I'm doing that so you see that as it moves through this iterative sequence, like you saw with range, uh, same thing will happen with a list. It'll go through and get I, the dummy variable, will become each element in it each time it goes through. So the first time it was S, then 1, then 2.3, then true, and then that list. Okay. One other cool thing with lists um, uh, I find cool is that you can build lists very easily. So a lot of times, uh, and there are a lot of list methods um, that you can um, that you can look at and uh, play around with. Um, but you can build these very easily with something known as list comprehension. Okay, think about it this way: when you comprehend something, you are um, you have an understanding of it, right? And you bringing things together, like a comprehensive exam is an exam over everything you've learned thus far, right? So list comprehension is uh, it handles everything. So it builds the list and it gives you a full understanding of what's in that list. So it's an easy way to um, to create a list. Uh, especially if you're going to set it to a variable. So I'm going to do a little something here. So I'm going to, uh, well, I'll, I'll make the list. I'll call it Y. So Y is going to be a list. And as we see every other list, we start with um, open and close brackets, right? 
because everything else will go in between it. But for list comprehension, it's almost like you're building um, the where you are. You're building how the list should be created, how it should be formed. So I'm going to say um, that this is going to be, I'm going to make a list of, um, of numbers from 0 to 3. So I'm just going to say the list is going to be I for I in range of 4. Now, why did I do 4? Well, remember the range function starts at 0 by default and then goes up to the number that's included here. So I'm making it go up to 4 because it'll go 0, 1, 2, 3. And I said I wanted number 0 to 3. So another times people, most times, uh, not most times, another way people that uh, program that is they'll do 3 plus 1 here. Because that way they know, like, every time they put plus 1, that's like the ending one. But they know that this is going to go to this number here. So just a little coding tidbit there for you. So if I do this and we like print Y, you'll see that it created 0, 1, 2, 3. Why is that? The open and square bracket here told us that we had a list. Um, the uh, range gave us our numbers here, 0, 1, 2, and 3. But this for loop says we're going to get each item i, so this dummy variable, could call this whatever we want it, uh, and i is going to be whatever we, uh, is going to be each element that's in here as we run through. So the first time i was 0, second time it was 1, then 2, then 3. And this, within those square brackets, is comprehend comprehending that list and thus creating it. So it's saying, oh, I'm going to need 0, oh, I'm going to need 1, oh, I'm going to need 2, oh, I'm going to need 3. And you can even go further with this. We can even say like, uh, if I is, uh, I don't know, let's say mod two equals equals zero. So in other words, I'm looking for, let's say one. In other words, I'm looking for if I, so if the, the, the number mod two, remember mod means that when you divide it by this number, what's the remainder? So whenever it's one. So when the, when the remainder, when this is divided by two is one. In other words, I'm looking for odd numbers. So what are the odd numbers between 0 to 3 is 1 and 3. So I'm going to print this. Now it's now 1 and 3. Okay. And so that is uh, an a example of list comprehension. This is a general look at lists. There are a ton of different methods that you can do with lists. And you could look those up. Uh, W3Schools is probably like my uh, go-to for what I'm trying to remember these. Of course, there's always good old... Um, python.org and you can look at the documentation for that but just to show you here if i were to go to list python list under tutorials now here it says list methods and of course there are a lot of other things you can do with lists too but here are some general methods that are utilized um, a pen will add something to the end of a list clear clears all the elements in the list copy allows you to make copies of a list um, this is very important in case you want to save, like you have two variables, your first variable is your original list, then the second variable you want to make a copy of it uh, so that you can then make manipulations to that without it making change to the original. Uh, count returns the number of elements in the list, so like, hey, how many things you didn't have in there? So I mentioned that how, how to get the length of a list earlier, this is what you would do, you would do dot count. Um, you can extend the list. Um, you, um, you could find the index of certain variables, so if you want to search for something that's in the list, um, this will return the index of it. If it doesn't find anything, it will return a negative one. So this is a cool little test. Like, hey, is this in this list? Let me do dot index and look for it. Um, insert uh, adds an element at the at, at a specific um, position, so you tell it where to put it. Pop is how you remove one element at a specific uh, position. Remove removes um, removes and it removes something from a list. Um, that you tell it was removed. So for instance, like the number list we had before was 0, 1, 2, and 3. If I did uh, dot remove uh, 3, it would get rid of the 3 from it. Reverse, reverse is the order of the list, and then sort will sort it based off a of sort key you give it. So um, there are those are uh, some list methods, and yeah. Okay, that's all I have, and I will talk to you soon.